Hey y'all, I'm Kate with SaltyKatie.com and I thought I'd come to you today with an updated fountain pen collection video and just tell you what I've been using and my thoughts on what I got here. Um, I'm sure you can tell already I have an overwhelming favorite. <laughs> anyway, um, if you're new here, my name is Kate. I'm a shop owner, a planner shop owner, and the videos I post here are primarily about planning, uh, productivity, and organization. So if you like that kind of thing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, so this will be an updated fountain pen collection video. I'll post it up here, the um, my previous fountain pen collection, because you'll see some different types of pens on there. Um, this is after having been using fountain pens for a couple of years. I am not an expert. I will say things wrong. People take their fountain pens very, very seriously, and they will let me know in the comments if I say something they don't like. Okay, so what I've primarily got here is Twisby fountain pens. They are my absolute favorite. Um, I've got some different kinds of Twisby pens here, um, and I'll just quickly run you through uh, those. Um, but let's start with a slightly cheaper and pretty good fountain pen, the Pilot Metropolitan. So these are nice, hefty metal pens. They run about $15 a piece, or at least they, at least they did the last time uh, I purchased one. Um, they write pretty nice, and I like them for the most part, other than they're not particularly attractive to me, uh, you know. But eh, 15 bucks, you can't really, I mean, it, they actually are really nice, hefty pens. Here's my issue. I've actually just gone ahead and taken them right out of my fountain pen bag because they dry up so fast. I don't use my pens every day, which can cause problems. The, the pen, the nib dries up and the ink won't flow and then you have to turn around and clean your pen and go through all this hurrah to start using your fountain pen again um and i'm not i'm just not down for that y'all i need to be able to pick my pen up use it drop it go on three weeks later pick my pen up use it drop it that kind of thing um <clears throat> so for that reason i've taken these out of my collection i don't use them anymore um one of these is inked with uh, diamine heart of not diamine diamine noodlers heart of darkness and I don't even know what's in this one it looks like a some kind of pinky purple red thing but they're just um, they are dry as a bone I'm not sure if you can see that um, there's basically nothing coming out of there so while I think they're a good pen, if you're going to use it every single day, uh, if you're going to use it for a daily rider, do it. If not, poof, I'm over it. Um, okay, so the majority of my pens here are Twisby pens, like I said. Most of them are Twisby Eco pens. Um, these mint blue are Eco T pens. Um, the rest of them, uh, for the most part, are regular Eco. I've got them in a variety of nib sizes. Um, I started by mostly purchasing fine nibs, and then as time went on and, um, what do you call it, shimmer inks became popular, I started buying broad nibs because I found that um, broad nibs were more forgiving. Uh, you know, they would let more of the shimmer out and were less likely to clog. If you've got a shimmery ink and a fine nib or even a medium nib sometimes it just doesn't work out there's not enough flow to get that um, shimmer to come on out the end of the pen uh, but for the most part these have been the best so much fun to use pens um, most of them run about $30 a piece yeah that's a, you could argue that's a lot of money for a pen but I, I do this for a living I really enjoy my stationery. Um, I also use them for props as a part of um, my Instagram presence. So there's more than one use for these pens for me. And I also really love using them in journaling and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, certainly not the most expensive pen out there, uh, but not the cheapest either. But for... <sighs> The amount of use I've gotten out of these, these pens, I feel like it's a pretty decent price. I'm willing to pay the 30 bucks. Let me put it like that. Um, and these pens, at least for me, don't dry out. They, I can leave them for two months and come back and the 
they just go to writing and so that is the clincher for me and then the second thing that I really love about these pens is they are piston feel um, so you just stick your pen down in the ink turn the end here and the little excuse me the little plunger draws up the amount of ink you want that's it there's no cartridge um, there's nothing else to fool with you just dip the pen in the ink turn the plunger take your little paper towel and just wipe it off right here at the at the the base where you may have gotten some ink and boom you're good to go um, you can see how much ink is left without having to fool with a cartridge uh, and you can see I mean to me it makes the pen prettier because they're what you call I guess you could call it a demonstrator pen they're clear on the middle so you can see what's in it I love that about them um, <clears throat> I do have a couple of slightly more expensive Twisbees here. This is the uh, Rose Gold Edition that came out, eh, maybe it was six months ago. I'm not sure. This is 50 bucks. At that point, that was the most <laughs> I'd ever paid for a fountain pen, so it took me a minute to make that decision. Um, but given that I am a shop owner, I went ahead and pulled, you know, pulled the trigger, so to speak. Um, and this is inked with... Noodlers Black Swan and Australian Rose. I want to say, who check that ink out, y'all. Love it. Love it. Lo I would venture to say that's my current favorite ink. And that's hard to say, but it is. Um, oh, another good one. This is a mini. I think it's a mini diamond. Let me look at my jet pens history. I bought so many yeah diamond mini clear this was 54 dollars do not judge me okay uh <laughs> i do this for a living just keep it in mind um can y'all tell i'm country and i came up poor <laughs> i'm here trying to justify a 50 dollar purchase to some perfect strangers um anyway i love lovey love 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 this little pen um so you can see it's quite a bit shorter but when you post the pen it writes so smooth and so uh, just not i mean it's it's a luxury writing experience is what it is um let's just say it like that i've got it inked with a um like a nice deep blue ink with a gold shimmer I think I've said enough. Love it. Okay, so this is <clears throat> my latest fountain pen purchase. I always buy an ink and a pen together because, yeah. Um, so I bought it with the Robert Oster Signature Cherry Blossom color. Hope y'all can see that. Really pretty. If that'll focus. Just a gorgeous color. Um, so this is... Uh, let me find, I'm sorry y'all, I'm trying to find it on my history. I bought so many damn pens, I forget what they're called. Okay, the Diamond 580 Smoke Rose Gold Fountain Pen. And this I bought with a fine nib because I intended to just use it for uh, non-shimmering inks. It's really pretty. I was surprised at how different it writes to this pen. To the mini, um, <clears throat> you see how I'm struggling to say anything about this pen yet. I really haven't used it enough to say um, what I think about it yet. I'm going to keep using it and I'll update you because this was a really expensive pen. This was actually a treat for myself for busting out those uh, Go Wild collab orders I did. Okay, so let's move on from the Twisbees. I'm sure y'all are sick of hearing about that. And let's talk about the uh, Moon Man Wansai pins. Oh, these are so much fun. Um, these are 20 bucks a pop on jet pins. Uh, they are a mini pin and they are a barrel of fun. They And so cute, so cute. Um, so you just they got a gold nib and all the nibs come, come in fine i haven't seen a, a different size nib for these um but once you post it which means putting the cap on the top it writes beautiful the only thing i would say the only drawback i have with these pens is they are just slightly ink stingy 
um, they, there's just not a lot of ink flow. And, and I do not put shimmer inks in these pens. It's just for, you know, regular, regular inks. Um, but they are just a little ink stingy. And if you leave them too long, they will hard start. However, I actually just store mine upside down with the bottoms up like this. And that seems to keep them inked and ready to go. So again, they've not offered to dry out. They'll write right now. Really, really, really have enjoyed these. Moon Man Wansai. And I, there might be a fifth color. Um, this one's totally clear. This is sort of pink. This one's the minty green one. And then this one's just about opaque pink. But again, you oh, and also, um, you just use an ink dropper to fill these. So you get your ink, fill up your dropper, and just drop the ink down in there. So again, there's no cartridge to fool with, which I also enjoy. So there's those. And then I have one last item. <laughs> this is a big fat regret purchase. This is a Conklin Duraflex. Let me look it up on jet pens, because I, you know, I, I just got taken in by um, the marketing on this pen. Uh, Conklin Duraflex Elements Fountain Pen in Fire. Uh, it's an Omniflex nib limited edition and I paid $60 for this pen. They got me y'all. I went on, I know I'm a Twisby pen lover. I know I prefer Twisby pens, but the Real pretty pictures just got me on the JetBits website, and I made a bad purchase, okay? I'm going to have to sell this pen or something. Anyway, so like I said, a Conklin Duraflex, it's really pretty. I mean, it's red and black, and the, the, the body's really pretty. Okay, but so this pen has been sitting there for a little while. I don't know if you can see all that ink. It's all dried up in there. I'm going to take it apart. Look at this, y'all. Look at this hot ass mess in here. I opened this pen up and it's all in. God, what a mess. So I opened this pen up to because I wanted to write with it the other day, and the ink is just sort of exploded everywhere and it's everywhere. It, the ink should only be, see I'm already getting it on my hands, the ink should only be inside this little cartridge right here. That was my first mistake. <laughs> it's in a cartridge. Anyway, um, I haven't taken the time to investigate yet what's happened. It, it, there is a potential that the cartridge is faulty. I may have un installed it incorrectly. It may not be the pen's fault, but as of yet, I am not having a particularly positive experience with this pen. Uh, as it stands now, what I'm going to do is um, take this pen completely apart. It's going to have to be cleaned and flushed out and all that stuff, which is time consuming and somewhat aggravating. But anyway, um, like I said, do not come for me in the comments over this Conklin pen. <laughs> It may well be user error, and I am happy to admit that. Uh, that said, I have not had the same problem with the Twisby pen, but anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to just put this back together because it's already getting all over me. Um, I am going to take this pen apart, um, clean it all because it's just all down in the cap and everywhere else. Um, it's going to take a minute to get it all flushed out. And then I may either switch cartridges um, or I may just check out this cartridge to see if I can kind of, I don't know, mitigate the problems or whatever. But anyway, um, so yeah, so far I'm not impressed with this pen, but it may be my fault. So I'm going to keep working with it. But I can happily, happily recommend one of these Twisby Eco pens, uh, especially if you're relatively new to fountain pens. They're just easy to use and they're fun to use and uh, they come in, you know, they continually release. I think the most recent releases is this uh, cement gray color. Um, if you can't tell, I really enjoyed the white and the <laughs> mint blue. Um, yeah. 
so I guess that's it for my fountain pen, my current fountain pen collection. Um, Y'all let me know if you have any questions about anything I've said, if I've not been clear about anything. And let me know if you'd be interested in me showing you what I have for inks. Um, because not only do I like pens, girl, I like me some ink too. Uh, and I definitely have some thoughts on ink, uh, my favorite ones to use, and which ones aggravate me and which ones don't. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see down in the comments. Wow, this video is a lot longer than I meant for it to be. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching, and I hope to see you here again real soon. Bye!